Okay, so let's go ahead and work out a line integral. We have the line integral of x times y ds over the curve c. c is given by this vector valued function, which runs from t equals zero to t equals one. So this is a curve and we have to integrate this function over this curve. It's called a line integral. Let me give you the formula in case you forgot. So the first thing to do in these problems is write down the formula. So this is the formula for the line integral. It's equal to the definite integral from a to b of f of x of t, y of t, and then you have the square root, of, and then what you do is you take x prime and you square it, and you take y prime and you square it, and you add them. So this formula is extremely useful. Yes, it does come up in you know calculus three, but it also comes up in other areas of math. So it's something that's really worth at least seeing. It's really good to at least know that it exists. If you forget it, you can just go on Google, Google line integral formula. Hopefully it comes up. Um, this is a really important formula. So here we already have everything. So all we have to do is, is plug everything into the formula. So x is equal to 60 and y is equal to 8t. So we'll have those and we'll deal with that in a minute. And then we need the derivatives as well. So x prime is simply 6 and y prime is just 8. All right, good stuff. So let's keep going. So we're going from 0 to 1. That's your a and your b. So this is 0 and this is 1. Okay. And oh, this is our f of x, y. Really important. Okay. This is our f of x, y. That's really uh, key. So f of x, y is your, is your x, y. So now we just take these, okay, and we plug them in here. So this is where it gets a little bit weird. So x is 6t. So instead of x, I'm going to write 6t. Okay, so parentheses 6t. Okay, and then y is 8t. So instead of y, I'm going to write 8t. So parentheses 8t. Okay, and then we have the square root. What do we have here? We have um, 6 squared, so 36. Then we have 8 squared, so 64. dt, really nice, really, really nice. 6 times 8 is 48. So we have the definite integral from 0 to 1 of 48 t. This is 100, so square root of 100 dt. Let's keep going. Um, square root of 100 is 10. 10 times 48 is 480. This is 480 t dt, 0 to 1. Usually the integration ends up being really nice in these problems. Uh, not always, but usually in these, especially the ones we've been doing, um, they're pretty easy. Once you use the formula and you simplify it, it's usually pretty easy. Um, so one square root of 100 is 10, 10 times 40 is 480. Now we're going to integrate this. There's a 1 here. So this is 480, okay, t squared. Oh, 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 I see a mistake. I see a mistake. I see a mistake. This is a 2. t times t is t squared. I'm glad I caught that. So this is t cubed over 3, and then we're going from 0 to 1. So I messed up there, but I caught it, thankfully. <laughs> so t times t is t squared, and then here we have a t squared. So when we integrate, it becomes t cubed. This is kind of convenient. 3 goes into 480 160 times. So let's go ahead and, and simplify that. So 160 t cubed, and we're going from, from 0 to 1. Really easy to mess up. Um, so you see how easy it is to mess up. You know, little mistakes like that happen all the time. So uh, always just take your time uh, if you're doing this for a class or something. So be, be really careful. Uh, we plug in the 1 first. So we get 160, 1 cubed, minus, and then plug in the 0, 0 cubed. So we just get 160. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.